Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Touch by an Angel Arts and Crafts. Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create your own journal on Lulu, which is a publishing site. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into the steps. So when you create a book, let me make. So when you create a book, um, a book, you can create a book or a journal. Um, so when you create a book or a journal on Lulu, there's different steps that you have to go through. Um, I got this big thing in the middle. Okay. So this is one of my books that's on the actual Lulu site. I have some other journals that are on other websites like Barnes & Noble, Amazon, so um, you have the availability to either keep your book just on, on Lulu. So that's like if you just want to make the book for yourself, um, you just want to keep it as like a personal book and maybe give it to different people. Or even if you just want to sell it on your, on your own time without being on the Lulu's website, you can do that as well. You also have the option to do distribution outside of Lulu, which is um, Barnes & Noble Bookstore and Amazon. It does take up a big portion of your profit just because of all the things that has to be printed. I mean, all the fees that has to be attached to it. So you want to be mindful of that. Um, I just like doing this. So it's really not a big deal of how much is made, how much I'm going to get from it. I just look at it as if I put multiples on there, then it'll generate multiple pass. Um, it's a passive income. So that's how you should think about it. At least that's how I think about it. So when you come to Lulu, um, in order to sell on here, you do have to sign up with Lulu. You do have to create um, a sign-in with a W-9. It's going to ask you for a W-9. Your social security number is going to ask you all that information. I'm not going to go into how to set that up because I'm just showing you a video of how to make the journal. Um, maybe I'll do a later video to show how the setup is um but for creating so you want to go to the create portion of it of the website so you would just hit create and you would hit um print books but before we do that we need the resources because we need the guides um the templates in order to design off of so we're going to be using canva to design our um journals so once you click guide and templates, that is going to bring you to this page. And when you get to this page, you wanna scroll all the way down. So right here under design guide bundle, this is going to give you a list of different sizes. What I've been using so far is executive, which is a seven by 10. Um, it's really, it's really up to you what size you want to use. If you want to use a comic book size, they have the, the A4 landscape. They have the regular US letter, the 8.5 by 11. So it's really up to you. So you want to pick one of these options. So I'm going to just go with what I've been using, which is the executive 7 by 10. And that's going to download the templates for me. I'm not going to download them because I already have them, but I am going to show you what they look like. And then you also want to download, since you're in here, whether you're going to use blank interior pages, line interior pages, graph pages, dot pages, there's all kinds of pages. Um, you have interior planner pages, weekly, daily, monthly, it's a lot. So it's basically what you want. But we are just going to use the interior line pages. Again, I'm not going to download it because I already have it. I'm going to show you um, what it looks like. Um, so this lined interior is the one I normally use. And then for my crafts or art ones, I use the blank interiors. It's basically like a 7 by 10-ish um, sheet of paper in Canva. And you basically designed off, design off of that. So I'm going to do this, just the easy tutorial where we're just going to create the, the cover of the journal. The rest is going to be all lined interior. So when you click this download line interior, it gives you an option for um, sizes. So executive and whatever other size they have in there, I would always select the executive. 
So I already have that downloaded again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through Canva. And then I'm going to create a new one. So I already have the measurements saved. So I normally usually create my cover first, which is 7.125 by 10.25. Um, that's not the right one. I'm going to go back. That's for your interior pages, actually. It's 14 point something. So I'm going to go back to create design. And I'm going to do custom. I already have it. So here it is 14 by, I'm sorry, 14.535 by 10.25. This is what I use. Everything with my journals is, is fine. Um, I'll attach some pictures of what the journals look like so that you guys can see. So this is a blank sheet. So we need to make sure that we have a guide that we can design off of so that when we upload it into Lulu, um, it will take. So I'm gonna go to my uploads because I already have it here. These are all my little pages. That I'll be creating. So I'm gonna scroll down till I get to what I need, which is the template. So this is what the template looks like. So you may need, so how I downloaded this template is it comes in the form of a PDF. You may need to convert, well, you will need to convert um, the PDF to a PNG. And I just went to a free converter, uploaded my PDF file that I already have for the guideline, and then it switched it to a PNG, and then I uploaded it, uploaded it into Canva. You can't upload a PDF into Canva to design off of. It has to be a PNG or a JPEG. So I just uploaded it as a um, PNG. So we're just going to take this and stretch it all the way out. The nice thing about this is if you find that it doesn't go to the edge, you want to bring it, zoom it, zoom down a little bit so that you can take it all the way to the edge. Okay. The nice thing about this is right here on the right side, it's going to tell you what the size should be. But if you have... Um, Pictures that's going to go all the way to the edge, you have to add that bleed in. So that's where I came up with that measurement. Um, it, it also provides the information through the website of how much it should be if you have bleed. And it'll tell you once you upload, it will tell you your book needs to be such and such size. And you just come back to Canva and then change it to that size. So if you do all of the steps that I'm doing in this video, you should have no problems whatsoever unless your sizing is off. So see how my scissor is cut off? So I need to bring that in just a tad bit. So, because you don't want the scissors cut off right here. It's basically these what these lines mean, this, this middle part is gonna be your book binding part. I basically just stay within the white for each side. Um, if it hangs over, that's fine, but just make sure like it's, it's not nothing that's important. You also want to make sure when you're designing the middle part of this, this is where the fold is going to be. So this is where like the middle of the book is going to be. So if you have something that's going to bleed all the way over to this side, you want to make sure that you fix that. This is where the barcode goes because you will have a barcode if you're selling outside of Lulu. So Amazon um, and Barnes and Noble. They will provide you the, um, what is it, the uh, ISBN to go right there. So you just, it's just like basically telling you where to put stuff at. So that's the cool thing about it. Um, so I'm going to go in. I'm actually going to find a background. Let me show you guys what the picture looked like that I choose first. So I just chose just a random saying. Here. 
So I'm gonna scroll up. So this is it right here. So this is pretty big, which I could, I could leave it this size. It's not a big problem, but I, I'm gonna make it smaller. Just a tad bit. Like I said, I like to keep it within these lines. It's fine if it goes a little outside because going to the left is the book binding part, going to the right is the edge of the page. So it's really not that, that big of a deal. I can move this down a little bit to the center or I can just keep it up to the top. However, um, let's move it. So we see how that looks. Um, so I'm gonna add, I also like to put my logo on the back instead of putting my name on the front. I started off putting my name on the front, but from now on, I'm just gonna put my logo on the back as just branding. So I'm gonna minimize this a little bit, this little square. I'm just going to kind of put this in the middle. You see, there is a pink line. So it's basically telling me that this is in the middle. Um, there is, there's usually a line going to the top part of the middle of the page, but it's not showing. So anywhere uh, I put the logo in the middle, a little bit downward, or I'm going to move it a little bit up. So about right there. And I can kind of see in the middle just because of Lulu's uh, live area that they have in the back, the little words that they have in the back. So now I know like the placing of, of everything is pretty much in the back. Or not in the back, but pretty much it within the areas. I'm gonna take this off if I need it, which I probably will. So now I'm just gonna add a background. I do pay for um, Canvas subscription. So I do have pro features. That's what it is, pro. Lots for words for this video. I haven't done a YouTube video in a minute, y'all, so bear with me. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to choose the cute little background. So some of these pictures that you might see on here, may not be pictures that you see on your side because again, I have pro. So I'm gonna click background. And this is just for video purpose. I'm not gonna take like a whole bunch of time trying to figure out exactly what type of background that I want. I'm gonna try to pick something that is pretty much matching to what the picture kind of is. Um, so let's see. Mm, what is this? So we can kind of test it out, stretch it out. Then I can go to position and send it backwards. Click all the I don't really like that. I don't want to spend too much time on this part. Let's do this. So stretch it out again. You can send it to the back like right now if you want to. I usually just stretch it out first and then send it to the back. Go to position. Backwards, backwards. There we go. I uh, also let's leave it like that. Okay. So let's say we're pretty much done with the cover. We don't need to, unless you want to, you can bring back up your template just to make sure that everything is 
where it's supposed to be. Um, you don't need to group it. Some pictures need to be flattened. You have to take it um, and flatten it, which group it. So I'm just going to change on the top. You see where it says untitled design right here. I'm just going to change that to what I'm going to save it as. So I'm just going to put positive. And I'm going to put blue and I'm going to go to download. We want to save this as a PDF quality multi-page document. And then click, I'm going to just click download. So that's going to be saved. Then I'm going to go back. And I am going to open up another create design. Well, actually, I don't even need to do that. I'm lying. Okay. Let me show you guys the interior page. So the next step would be the interior page. So I have a um, file called journal where I keep everything in, basically. So we want to go down to find the interior pages. How long is that? So here we are. So remember I said that I, I used a 7 by 10 executive. So all I'm looking for, and you'll see it in the download, it's pretty simple. It's like three different things there. You just want to select the one that you use. So make sure you write down or you remember which interior you used because it has to stay consistent. So I'm going to click this interior line just so you guys can see. It's just a hundred pages of line paper, basically. So you, it also allows you to decide or to choose if you want 100, 200, 300 pages. Most of my journals, well, all of my journals are hundred pages. So, and if you do plan on designing, you're gonna have to design a hundred pages. So just be mindful of that too. So it's just blank pages. So I'm just showing you guys what the interior look like. So I don't have to create that because Lulu has already done that. So all I have to do is upload that. I'm trying to get out of here and it's not all over. <laughs> so now that we created the cover, we go back to Lulu. I'm gonna hook a mouse up next time to my laptop. So we go back to Lulu. So we're going to go to create. You're going to go to print books. Start your print book. You're going to print. Um, you're going to print. You're going to click print book. So this is the part where you select your goal. So you, you either publish your book and it basically says you have the option to sell your book to over 40,000 retailers, libraries, schools, through the Lulu Bookstore, Amazon, and Global Distribution Services. Please note, books for sale require a title page, copyright page, and an ISBN. If you are just printing your book, you want to make it for yourself, or you're printing a book and you just want to get um, a copy before you actually put it for distribution, you can just do... Um, print your book. And basically it says your book will be uploaded um, to your account and available to you for purchasing copies in your quantity you desire. So we just want to here add a project title. Um, what was my thing called? I think I did. So we'll just call it a positive mind. So we will select the language, English, unless you speak some type of other language or you want to say a book in a different language. English. 
normally um because these books are related to crafts i usually just put craft um, and hobbies you can select whatever you want from that list and then the next step will be to design your project so right here once you design your project it's going to start off with the interior file upload so remember that's already created for us because we got it from lulu so nothing should go bad with that one if anything um to stop you from uploading that because you're not doing anything but uploading directly what lulu told you to upload for the 100 pages all the pages are going to be there so you don't have to design no lines or nothing so that's the cool part about that um it is. Oh, I found the file and I'm just going to click open and it's going to go through the process. Um, sometimes it can take a long time. Sometimes it happens really quick. So that was quick. So you see right here it's successful. You got the green is good to go. You don't need to change anything. Sometimes you will see like in red, oh, it's 200, between 200 and 300 pixels or something like that. And it's really big. It's like a big paragraph in red. So it kind of scares you like, oh my gosh, like is your book going to be printed out okay? Do you need to redo something? Um, sometimes you do need to redo something, but sometimes it's just maybe your ISBN that you put in on the cover or the interior pages, your pictures or whatever, you made them smaller or you made them transparent. It's just basically saying that the pixels are going to be super small, um, smaller than 200 or so because you made the picture smaller. But you're going to be able to view everything that you created before you even click to distribute your book or to get a copy. And if you do need to change something after you got a copy, you haven't distributed it yet. So pretty much you, you're still good to go. It's no big deal. You can always change it. So the next one would be book size and page count. So remember, that's why I say I write it down. Um, this is executive. So that's because that's what I chose. It automatically knows because of what I choose or what I picked for the line pages, which it was executive seven by 10. So it knows that and it puts 100 pages. So you also have the option for the interior color, black and white premium, black and white standard, color or color standard. Um, I usually go with color standard, color premium is a little bit more. If you have a black and white book and choose black and white, it's totally up to you. The paper type, you have 80 coated white or 60 coated white. I normally go with 60 coated um, white. The book binding, I normally go with paper. You can go with spiral or you can go with hardcover. You can just make a regular notebook with spiral, just create your front page and bam, you're good to go, you can upload it. So the next step would be, do you want it glossy or do you want it matte? That is super cute. Glossy is super cute too, but I've just been doing that. So you see the print cost is $6.50. That is how much it will cost Lulu to print this book. So you need to decide how much you are going to sell it for. Um, and now we're gonna go to the design cover. So remember, I just made that in Canva. So all I'm gonna do is go to my download file. a lot so it's right there upload it again sometimes it takes a while for it to upload it has to go through finalizing and all these different steps it won't let you move on to the next step until this is finished processing so don't try to go to the next step while this is processing it's not going to work um you can see right there there's a lulu quick template Cover Creator, there's also Cover Creator Powered by Canva. So you can click that and design directly in Canva. So you see that's a successful upload um, for the cover is all green, I'm good to go. I don't need to change anything, everything is fine. So right here, it's gonna give me the review of the book. So it shows you the margin, the bleed, the folds, and the trim, just areas that you wanna be careful of when you're printing the book. Um, it can go, outside of this area, but you want to make sure it's not all, like I said, I always just make sure it's within the white, just to be safe. 
Um, a little bit in the blue, that's fine. Just make sure like it's no words that's going all the way off the edge. So you also can turn off the trim, the fold, the bleed, and the margin. And then you can just see what your book looks like without all of that. So it's gonna let you see everything. So you're gonna be able to see the inside. So that is pretty much your book. Because remember, we uploaded the simple step of 100 pages already created by Lulu. You can create your own pages if you like. Simple. I just wanted to do the simple version. So that's simple. And it's going to give you print ready files. I suggest when you upload these files of the print ready, when you decide like this is it, I've created everything, I don't have any issues, make sure you save these files in a safe place. Because if you decided to, oh, you know what? I want to sell on KDP. KDP is another place that you can sell your journal, which is Amazon. So you can upload your book to KDP and not have to do that much if you already have these print files. Their um, templates, is they pretty much go by the same thing. I'm not sure if that's what everybody that, that, creates, that creates journals for you or a publishing place. I'm not sure if it's just all across the board, but I know when I upload my stuff from um, Lulu to KDP, I don't have any issues. It's pretty much the same standards of you don't go outside of this line, basically, basically that edge line. So the next step would be to review the book. So basically it's telling me congratulations, your book is nearly complete. You don't think that when you get to this part, you are done, you're not. You still have to see this little, I missed this the first time I did it, see this little blue area. You wanna make sure that you check these. Basically saying, confirm. You can always go in and revise the book. So it's giving you the front cover of what it's what the book is gonna look like. So, and it's telling you, you can add it to the cart. There is, I'm gonna go back to show you guys what it would look like if you did um, distribution. I'm gonna take you back to the very beginning. And you guys might not do these steps, but this is just how I do it. So let's say you wanted to publish a book for global distribution. It's then gonna tell you that you need an ISBN. It's gonna give you a free ISBN. So at the top, you just see version one of this project is in revision and a draft has been created. So now I want you to add your name as the author. I'm just going to add my name here. Up here is just the title, the subtitle, the edition. I, I don't mess with none of that. I just put the title in. Um, so it's going to do all rights reserved. It, optional if you want to put your name. I normally just put Angel Sandlin and the copyright year, which is 2021. And use free ISBN, get free ISBN. Okay, so now it gives us our ISBN, but what it doesn't do is I wish I, I wish it did just automatically put it in there on the uh, book cover for you from the back, but it does not. Um, you have to do that. So we are going to save a PNG of it. I'm going to go and press save as. And I'm going to do ISBN for mind. Let me make that. 
Okay. And then I'm going to save this in my PNG folder. Save. Then I'm going to go back to Canva. And I'm going to upload this. I'll go to my PNG and I'm going to type in positive uh oh where is it oh ISBN there we go and open. So it should be uploaded at the top. So this is the ISBN. And to make sure you have the right one, you can always look at the numbers, which the last four numbers um, is 246. So let's say if he wasn't unsure, like if it uploaded, so 246 is right here. Now this is super huge. What I found when my book started coming is even though it looks really big on here, I mean, even though it may look small on here, it, it's really big. So I just started making sure that I make it super small. And then again, what I do is go back and get the template just to make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. You also wanna make sure that the measurements match what you chose as far as like executive, just because right here, it'll tell you in the middle, you can't really see it, but it'll say seven by 10. Um, I got it cut off, but that's okay. I just need to know where to place this at. So anywhere within this yellow is fine. So I usually just put it like close to the edge right here. Um, and what it did was delete. It deleted my, um, my background. I'm gonna move that forward. Move that down move it over to about right there. But then I'm going to go ahead and delete the template because I know that's where it's supposed to be. Everything else is fine. So I'm going to re-download that. And I'm going to do EF print and save. I'm going to go Back to Lulu. Then I'm going to go to design book. And it's still going to let you know that you're on a draft, basically. So that's the interior file. So don't upload the wrong one. We don't want interior. We want the cover. So right here, I'm going to go to replace my PDF. Download it, so I'm gonna go to downloads. I usually look at the time when I go into downloads, just to let me know I'm I'm picking the right file. So here where I'm at is um, 3:42, so I usually just look for 3:42 right here. So this is the updated one because I just downloaded it, and then get rid of the other one so that you don't get confused. The one that you uploaded without the ISBN number. If you're going from personal to selling it. You want to um, make sure that you delete the personal one because you no longer need it if you're going to be selling through KDP. So it's basically just saying it's, the file is normalizing. So this takes a little bit longer. So now see how it popped up with the red images. Your file contains images with resolution less than 200 pixels per it, Lulu just using images with a pixel of 
200-600 for the best results. I didn't have any issues before I did that. So we know that that is the ISBN is super small in the corner, which I don't want it super big. And when it's, even when it's a little bit like a uh, medium size is when you get the book is gonna look like it's pixelated. So you wanna make that not too small, but small enough. Um, so right now it's gonna show you how small it is. So it's small enough. We take the trim off, the fold off, the bleed, the margin, and that's the book. You go back to app, or you would add book details at this point. It takes you through another step versus just creating it for you to just have personally. So basically I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna open up another um, Lulu website just because I wanna get some wording from some of my other books. I'm just gonna type in my name. Um, and this is, if you're looking to purchase any of my journals, um, you can purchase them from here. You can purchase them from Amazon. You can purchase them from Barnes and Noble. I don't know why I did that. Type in my name. So here's some of my journals. There are still some pending. Um, what I'm trying to do is get the description. Just a little vague description, not too much. But you probably want to put as much as you can to describe the book just to catch the person who's purging it, catch their eye. Um, what, where to go? Okay. This one. So you're gonna post your description there. This is just a regular journal, 100 pages. Um, that's all I usually fill out. If you have a table of contents or contributor notes, that's optional. All that's optional, you can put that in. Um, categories and keywords from what I chose before, craft and hobbies. Um, so these are the basic main categories. This is just the uh, journal. So it brings up a list for you to choose. I normally just choose, it's not a Bible or anything like that. So I, I usually just use diaries and journals. Um, category two, I just try to pick something else off the list that pertains to the journal. So self-help journaling. Um, and then another one. And just all pertaining to the book. Mm. There was one other one other than just picking um keywords. So I just been putting craft. Journal. There is a way to search for keywords. I'll do that in another video, but these are just some, some small keywords. Just if you're doing anything else on, on a website or YouTube video, your, your tags or whatever. Um, This is for the sake of the video. Okay, so I'm gonna select my audience, which I usually just pick general trade, adult fiction and nonfiction. And if you're making a book and it contains explicit content, then you would check this box. Mine's don't. So now it's gonna ask you, how much do you want to list your book? I usually do list prices. You can do like a revenue goal of how much you plan to make. Um, do not, it's not like getting super, super rich. This is just passive income. So it's telling you the minimum prices that you would have to charge. 
Um, what I charge for these are fifteen dollars. Um, so it, let's say you wanted to do the minimum. I'm just going by the numbers on the bottom. So it's going to show you right here what your profit would be. So it's going to show you your list price. So USD, uh, your um, European, uh, Australia, maybe um, it's different countries. <laughs> yeah. So it's EUR, AUD, global, which is the global distribution. I don't know what CAD is. Um, if somebody does know, you can comment up under the video and let me know exactly what that means. Canada, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Um, but it tells you how much you would make just based off um, of those prices. So it's really up to you what you want to put. Totally up to you. Um, and this is for global distribution. And so this is the revenue for global distribution. So see right here, basically, if I was to sell this book for $26.20 within this category, I will get no money. No money at all. So you also have to have a payee. Where do you want to get paid? Are you a business? Do you want to get paid at your business account? It's going to ask you all of that information to upload the little W-9 form, um, I'm all, I have it, mine's already added here. And 100% of the payment is going to me and I'm getting paid through PayPal. I think it gives you two options to get paid through PayPal. I wanna say by mail. You don't get paid for this like on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Their payout is monthly. And if you decide that you don't wanna use PayPal and you want it to be mailed, I think it's like a 60 day waiting period. So um i will use paypal if you don't have paypal um i know i suggest you get one um so then here you would click final review i'm just going to click final review because i'm going to go in and change everything anyways um this is so it's giving you a front cover sometimes this front cover on your phone it'll look like something is off but it's really not get on your computer or your laptop and, and check to see also, those ready files is super, super duper important. The print ready files, make sure you upload those and look at them, zoom in to everything, um, just to make sure like stuff is not off, make sure stuff is centered and stuff like that. Um, so I can go in here and I can confirm, confirm everything. So basically what happens after confirming, I'm just going through these steps so you guys can see. Um, after going through the confirm, so it's gonna upload with the global distribution. So it's telling you after you approve your proof copy, Lulu's distribution partners, including Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and Ingram will review your book to ensure it meets their standards before making your book available for sale on their sites. So right now it's on private access because I do not want to sell the book just yet. So if you did, let's say you were ready with everything, then you would just pick, um, general access so available for sale on lulu's bookstore immediately if you want to just provide the url you can click direct access but whatever you do you still have to you're going to have to order a copy of the book in order for it to be approved for distribution because they want you to check the book to make sure everything is cool make sure everything is together make sure you like it um, and then after that, once you get the book, you can approve it. Or if you think everything is already approved, what it's going to do is after you click that button at the bottom and let's say you purchase it, if you wait like an hour or so, you can just go to approve copy. 
and it will automatically start distribution, um, I think within like another hour or so. It doesn't take that much time, but they'll put it up for distribution. Not much time at all, super easy, not too hard. Um, things, start, things start getting a little bit more complex when you start adding pages, you wanna create your own pages. Um, I usually get pictures off of different websites that allows commercial use. Don't go using Google pictures that you don't know if they can be commercially used. Some of Most of those pictures are just for personal use. So you don't wanna step on nobody's toes and be using their pictures or in get sued. Um, let's see, what's another thing? Just make sure, I usually make sure that I order each book just to kind of know, to make sure that I don't have any issues with the book. Um, for something like this, this easy, it's, it's basically showing me what it's gonna look like. So it, it couldn't be too too many errors. It's not no errors at all, actually, because everything is the way we want it to be. So I would order the book and then just click approve without even getting the book because I already know what it's gonna look like. It's just lying pages in the inside and you're just approving the cover. Now, let's say you created a whole book, you wrote a book with some words and you created pictures and all this stuff. I would say order the book and get the book first, see if you like it. Then if you do, then hit approve. Don't approve the book for distribution and you haven't even looked at it yet and you got all these pictures and all these this all this stuff in your book that you really need to make sure that it's not going off the page or it's not there. Um, a lot of things can happen in the process. So just make sure that you look through your book and make sure you make sure everything is cool and approve it. So that is it. Mm, I think I'm gonna do another video for KDP. It's basically the same thing. I normally just take my files that I did from Lulu. I just take it over to KDP. That's a whole nother a whole nother video. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope you found it useful. Um, you can check out all of my other videos. Again, like I said, I'm gonna, going to um, upload the other books that I have created. Um, just from the strength of me having a YouTube channel, I have created a YouTube journal book where you can write down your information. Let's say, let's say if you were looking at my YouTube channel and you want to know what materials are needed, the book has an area for you to put the materials needed, all of your notes from the video you watched because you wanna make whatever it is that's on my YouTube channel or anybody else's YouTube channel for all that matter. Um, it allows you to be able to take notes. So if you're interested in purchasing that book, that book is, um, actually pending to be sold right at this moment um, but it will be available I say within the next 24 hours you should be able to get it from Barnes and Noble you should be able to get it from Amazon and you should be able to search on Lulu again on all of these different things all you need to do is put in my first and last name I will put a link down um, for Lulu and I will be sure to add the pictures of some of the books or some of the journals that I created. I created no book because I, I haven't wrote a book, but for some, <laughs> for some of the journals that I created, you guys know I'm all about self-love, positivity. I'm all about giving you guys different ideas of different crafts and showing you the steps, whereas a lot of crafters will not show you the steps, they will not give you the information. Um, they want you to go out there and search for it because it was hard for them to get the information, which is hard for me to get the information too, but I don't have a problem with sharing. So again, um, if you're new to the channel or yeah, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and share my video for other people to see. Um, I will keep dropping them gems for y'all, keep providing y'all with more information um, as I get it of how to do different things. I have a lot of videos that I need to make. So you guys will be seeing a lot of stuff um, coming up shortly. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys have a great day. Hey y'all, so I'm super duper excited. Um, my journals are, well, some of my journals are actually ready to purchase. I'm just gonna show you a few of the journals. So this one is my YouTube journal. Um, it's 
the journal was specifically made for you to be able to take notes for each YouTube video that you watch. So it has a spot for you to put in the channel name, the channel title, the craft title, email address, and the supplies needed. So all the information you need, and then you can take notes down here, take notes here, and then material cost and profit information here. And then it's the same, it's 100 pages. So this is what the back looks like. This is what the front looks like. So this one is actually pending, pending within the next 24 hours. This one will be available for purchase. This is the self-love journal, um, which has self-love checkout list. It has self-love, um, I can't read upside down mindfulness journal so you have how am i feeling goals what i need to do for myself you have weekly reflect uh reflection daily reflection thoughts tracker the happy list you have letter for forgiveness gratitude journal this is also 100 pages it has mood tracker self-esteem journal Mood tracker pages, multiple pages. You have self care planner and stay hydrated. An undo list, brain dump. So the book goes into more in detail um, with things that you can write down affirmations, another self love list, my sleep tracker self-care routine, self-care drawer. So there's different little activities in here that, for you to do. And then in the back, you can also journal, you can take notes. It's all pages full of notes. This is what the back looks like. This one is currently on Barnes and Nobles, Amazon, and also Lulu Books. So you can purchase them at any one of those sites. This is another journal that I've created. Um, I believe this one is pending as well. Within 24 hours, it should be up. So this is Amazon, Lulu Bookstore, and also Barnes and Nobles. This is just a regular journal. The super cute um, front page. Don't call it a dream, call it a plan. So these are all positive. I'm all with the positive affirmation. Um, I love helping people and just trying to keep positivity. So this is just a regular line journal, 100 pages, pretty much what it looks like. This is my crafter's dream journal. The very, very first journal I created, this one is up. Um, the self, the self love journal is up too. The only one that is uploading is the self love coloring book. That is, um, still pending. So that'll be up within 24 hours. But the journal is available and the crafter's dream is available. So basically, you know, I, I gave you guys a kind of rundown on the reason why I created this book because I always dream of crafts and just just writing down stuff on different little small pieces of paper. So I'm like, you know what, why not create a journal? Maybe it's other people out there who go through the same thing that I go through with dreams and writing down stuff. So there's a place for you to write your dream down, the date, the craft, the time. So it's a couple of pages for you to note on. And then you have your script, your sketch, your dream. The cost to make it, profit and materials needed. And a dream to remember. The date, the craft, and the time. And then it goes on to the same thing. And again, this is a 100 page journal. This is what the back look. So turn your dreams into profit. I really love this book. Super duper cute. All of the books are super duper cute, but this one specifically is near to my heart because I've been dreaming about making a journal. Um, it took me some time to figure out how to do it. So now I know how to do it. So now it's up for purchase. So here you guys go. So it is, there's another um, book that is on the website as well. If you just search my name, Angel Sandlin, on Barnes & Noble, on Lulu, and on Amazon, 
you will see the books that I have created that are available. You will see them there. There is another um, another book that actually is right here. So this one is also available. So nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream. This is another book that I created. You'll see this big ISBN number. That is changed. I actually updated that to, for that to be a little smaller than that. Um, so you'll see this. This book is just a regular journal. So these are all the journals that I have, you guys, and I'm continuing to make new ones. So if you're interested and you want to purchase, um, you can purchase from Amazon, Lulu, Barnes & Noble. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching.